Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And this is your boy Harship Lucky Quarty. And I'm actually sitting in a cafe right now, so it might be a little noisy, but I just want to record and show you guys this one. So OpenAI has recently just launched a new feature which is part of the chat GPT tasks. So if you just click on this button, you can already see there's GPT 4.0, GPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks, 01, 01 mini. And that's all just a legacy model. I think they've retired the 3.5 model right now so right now you can see this feature which is creating tasks so what exactly can you do with this what you can currently do is you can basically create tasks so let me exactly show you guys how this works but it's not an amazing feature though but it's it's really good to just give you a couple of reminders so let me just start off with okay can you set me a reminder for a call in 30 minutes and when i just enter this is going to create a simple reminder. Uh, my internet's a little slow, but I think it's going to catch up. Yeah, I think this should work now. All right. So let me just regenerate and it should basically start right now. All right, so it's creating a task. This is basically your task. It's being created, right? If you just click on this, it's a call. Instructions, it's tell me to make a call. Schedule, you don't have to repeat. And it currently knows the time and the date as well. So I can pause this, I can delete this, or I can just save this. Right, so that exa that's, that's exactly what the task manager is. So I'm just going to cancel this right now, and I'll just be sharing you guys how exactly to do uh, create other tasks, right? But before that, like, where are you getting these task reminders? So there are two places where you get the task reminders. One is inside the application itself. The second one is in the Gmail, right? On Gmail, I'm actually on my personal Gmail, so um, let me show you how the tasks are. Yes, so this is exactly how the tasks up task updates look like. So I had a call and, you know, I just created a couple of tasks and this is exactly how the task would look like, right? So let me clearly show you guys how it looks like. All right, so these are like task updates. Um, th that's exactly how I'm going to get it. Simple email reminder, which I get. It's also in the chat application as well. But why don't we test out something different, right? Um, we can just say, can you create a task, task to make, please? So when you give it like an action, um, let's say we just do it now, right? When you give it an action, it's not really able to create it, right? It gives you that task as well. So I couldn't schedule this task right now, so let me clarify exact time with you. So it's just trying to, you know, um, bullshit you around saying, okay, uh, I can't do this right now. What, what exactly is the time? So just for the case, let's say Saturday, Jan 18, 10, 5 p.m., right? Saturday. Jan 18th, 2025, and I'm just gonna say 10 or 5 a.m. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be able to create a task because it's it's just built for creating like simple reminders. All right, so if, if you just click on this, it's just a reminder itself. It just says make make that tweets. So people might call it an agent, but it's really not an agent. All it does is it just schedules things and it just it just gives you an update. So it's really good for you, let's say, if you want to just, do, just to get a reminder. But it's the same thing that you can do on Apple Notes as well, right? If you just say, hey, Siri, create, a, create an order. Let's just, just try that as well. All right. Okay. okay, let me just try that too. And how exactly do I access Siri? I forgot how to do Siri. Yeah, double tap. All right, I forgot how to enable the press. On 18th of and at 6am. Okay. Yeah. Tweet for June 18th, 2025, 6 a.m. Yes. So it's basically like how Siri functions itself. So it's nothing really special, but I really am waiting for a moment where OpenAI can create agents as well. But I think that's something um, it's left for us designers and startup founders to do, right? You can actually create your own startup based on this. You can use this or Claude to create your agentic AI workflows. So I think that's all for now. Um, so very simple video that I want to shoot. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, see you guys again in the next one. Peace.